So to add to our bathroom RCP, what do we need? We need 2D annotations and dimensions. Now we don't need to necessarily dimension the whole room because we are already going to be doing that in our floor plan, in our general arrangement floor plan, but we do need to add in the extra detail. In terms of annotations, we might want to add in the materiality of the ceiling. So how do we do that? Maybe we do it as labels or maybe we do it as text. So I've got a label here, so we'll put this on the layer called DIMS RCP, or we could put it on the one called Overlay RCP. But most importantly here, I'm choosing to put this in my detail drawing, not in my general RCP, not in my whole house RCP. Why? Because in my whole house RCP, it's there's too much information. We're going to add so much information to this that it's not going to be necessarily very visible. Now I just placed a label and when we see it comes up with a hashtag or pound sign, what's that saying? It doesn't know what it's looking for. That's auto text. So what we need to do is understand what sort of auto text would be appropriate for this drawing. The problem is that if I add auto text to a detail, it's a fill. It's a two dimensional drawing. And so adding auto text to here doesn't work. I'm going to need to plug in soon. Um, so what would I do instead? I'd either need to add in, and we can put this on Archicad layer because it's just a 2D drawing, we can add in text, so I could call this uh, TLB, Timber Lining Board, and if I wanted to make this a symbol, I could add a frame, and I would say wrap text, so it only makes it as big as the image that I want and I can make the frame a little bit thicker so it stands out a little bit more and maybe I, I want to make the background to be white so that it hides whatever is behind it so I could do something like that and I can add a space maybe if I want to that way or a space at the end if I need to make it look a bit better let's get rid of this one So now it's given a little bit extra room around, and I'll normally have two. I'll normally have one, which is the finish, and one which is the structure. Now when it comes to reflected ceiling plan, which one do we put on the top? Now I'll leave that up to you to decide. Generally, when it's talking about structure, I'd have the finish on top and the structure underneath. Um, but for a reflected ceiling plan, maybe it makes more sense to have the finish on the bottom. What is my structure? This is just text, so I'll change that to timber framed ceiling. So we have TLB and TFC, which are what? They're acronyms. It's based on a legend, and that legend is then describing what's happening. Now, what's happening with the main ceiling area? The main ceiling area is raked, so I'm not going to use that same system. I'm going to turn the frame off, turn the opaque off, and I'll just change that text. To say, raked ceiling. Because in this view, in that my reflected ceiling plan, I can't really explain it very well. Now, I'm using raked ceiling to identify uh, the height. What I haven't added here is height, which is something that I can do next. So I could still use these, Move, drag a copy. But in this case, what I'd really be saying is that this is going to be maybe what finish. So maybe it's PA1, paint finish one. And maybe the structure is CLT, cross laminated timber. So again, we're showing materiality, we're doing it in a two dimensional way. What's the alternative to this? The alternative is to not do it in the detail, which makes it all two-dimensionally and not referenced, but to do it in the 3D model. So back into our 3D drawing, which means when I place my label, place, it's automatically determining that it's based on the material. So remember before we chose white gloss, gloss white. What's the problem with this? It might not actually be gloss white. We might actually want it to be a timber finish. So we need to find something that's appropriate for that. 
So maybe we we'll use timber lining boards. And as long as this is relating to the right surface, so we need to check edge surface. No, we don't want edge surface. We want bottom surface. So we'll go to the auto text and we'll change this to edge or sorry, bottom surface. And we see that will automatically update. What's the problem with this? That's a really horrible annotation. It's too big. It's taking up too much room. How could we fix that? What that would mean is we would then need to change the name of the surface. What I'd really like to see is this surface changed to have an ID, but I will need to change the name otherwise, and I will do this later in a project, rename. So instead of saying RMD timber lining boards, that will now say TLB. And once that surface is renamed, then we can see that that will change as well. So what? how am I placing this? This is currently on a layer called RMD overlay layer, um, RCP. And that might be fine as long as it's not taking up too much space, but it might start to create some issues with becoming too cumbersome, too busy. And if I want this to be visible only, not in my reflected ceiling plan, but only in my detail, I'd need to put it onto a layer which is only visible for detailing. So maybe I'd have a control L, new RMD overlay detailed RCP on my RCP this one gets turned off and then on my detailed layer it becomes visible so plan detail maybe we need to create a new one and then we can make that visible. So now we will see that that is going to be hidden once we place this on the right layer. Overlay, detailed RCP, that's no longer visible there. But then when we go to our detailed RCP, I'm just aware that my computer is about to die. And then of course we need to update the layer combination. That will now be visible.